my YouTube channel and for more yoga flows with me, Sarah Malcolm. It is it's such a drizzly day in London today when I'm filming this. I'm looking outside and it's just pouring down. So I thought it would be lovely for us all to just have a sort of 20 minute flow to do whenever really, morning, evening, middle of the day, standing upside down, anything. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna start cross-legged in Sukhasana, easy pose. If you have anything that you would like to sit on top of, maybe a block or a cushion, to let your hips be a little bit raised and invite some more space in your hip flexors, then do that. Otherwise, just get comfy exactly where you are. And take a few rolls out through your shoulders and any other movement that feels necessary before you sort of soften for a moment and settle. And then close your eyes. And just notice straight away if your body or chest is feeling quite sort of eager here. Maybe you've been having a busy day so far, or maybe you feel sort of anxious about anything that's yet to come. So just notice physically if your chest is quite far forward, or maybe you're quite slumped and quite sluggish here and rounded off through the spine. Can you let yourself just start to draw up this sort of line of energy through the body, stacking your head over your pelvis, let your belly scoop in and your heart space lift, and then soften shoulders and elbows down your spine. Let your breath just start to smooth out. And if this is the first time you've noticed your breath, then just honour that. Notice it today, just honour that. Even feeling it and listening it, list, look, even feeling it and tuning into it can be quite powerful. So just settle into that. Wow. Amazing. And then let your left hand come to your heart space, your right hand come to your belly. Receive your own physical touch here, your own warmth, the texture of your hands. And then let your breath move into both hands. The inhale, feeling like your hands could move away from one another, really broaden yourself out, and your exhale, maybe they just fall a little further in. Finding slight movement through the body, full breath in. Full long breath out. And then together we'll take a big inhale through the nose. And this time sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Really lovely. Let your hands just come to your knees. Feel this ease through your shoulder and through your face and jaw, and then just drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Let your right shoulder sort of ooze down to the right. No effort, nothing to creep up here, just letting it drop. Roll your chin all the way down towards your chest. Feel the length through the back of the neck, and then continue this circle, right ear towards the right shoulder. Left shoulder oozes down. And then just start to explore this space here, this semicircle of the head. Taking the head side to side, feeling this space in the neck. If it feels yummy, maybe you use the hands to just get into this a little more. Any movement that feels intuitive, move into that. And then we'll meet with the chest down to the chin. Interlace your hands at the back of your head, sort of the very base of your skull here. Catch your head. And on your next inhale, start to lift your heart space. Elbows come wide. Rather than throwing our heads all the way back, just feel equal length through the back and front of the neck as you feel length through the side waist. Big breath here. And on your exhale, reverse this. Chin draws towards the chest. Elbows hug in. And then just let yourself slightly fall back from your pelvis. Draw your belly in towards your spine. Really find a big rounding here. Inhale. Come the opposite way, re-rise, re-broaden. And on your exhale, rounding back through. Inhale, re-spiral. Really feel this lift through your heart, hug your ribs in and then let go of the interlace of your hands. Take your elbows out wide and let your hands come down behind you. Onto your fingertips, just snuggle your shoulder blades in, in towards one another. Pressing down through your fingers, just start to tip your weight forward into the knees and then maybe, and just maybe, this doesn't have to be massive, your hips and pelvis lift away from the ground and you just really feel this sort of big, broad front body is offering yourself. Take a breath in. 
On the exhale, release this. Direct your right leg all the way out towards the right now. Sort of diagonal line away from you. Flex your right foot. Let your left foot come to your right inner thigh. Take a breath in. Feel the arms reach up, length through both sideways. Rather than the left knee trying to hoik up here, let it just soften. And then as you exhale, start to fold over your right leg. Keep this nice big side bend. Left arm follows. Don't worry how far down the right hand goes. Just wherever it lands is perfect. Take another breath in here. Full breath out. And as you inhale, re-rise. Sweep the left arm all the way up and overhead. Land your left hand behind you. And then roll your weight onto your left shin as you pick up the hips. Roll the right shoulder. And just find this sort of big, open, supported gate pose variation. Full breath in. Exhale. Circle yourself back down. Nothing fancy now. We're just going to take it to the other side. So left leg comes out long. Sole of the right foot to the left in a thigh. Flex your left foot as you inhale. Reach up, feel this length. On your exhale, left arm glides down the left leg. Wherever it lands is perfect. Right arm reaches all the way up overhead. And rather than sort of folding in, let your heart space really turn towards the ceiling or sky. Head is heavy, jaw released. One more inhale. One more exhale. As you inhale, peel back up, let your right hand land behind you, roll your weight onto your right shin as you pick up your hips. Full breath in, just own this space. And on your exhale, release. Draw your legs back in towards you, and then we're just going to come over the legs and into a tabletop. So coming onto all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Spread wide into your hands. And feel like you could just really connect hands and legs to the ground. Let them press down to almost rise the body away from the ground. So this pressing down to lift up. Draw up through your pelvic floor and let your belly scoop in towards your spine. And then a slight puff up of your shoulders here. So rather than just collapsing, press the ground away. Get even longer and smoother in your breath. Take a full inhale. Big long exhale. And then just start to marry this breath to some movement. Maybe it's cat-cow for you. Inhale, the belly drops. Heart space lengthens forward. Neck stays lovely and long. Rather than throwing the head back, keep the back of the neck long. And exhale, rounding through the other way. Chin tucks towards your chest. Belly scoops in, tailbone tucks. So maybe you move through these. Feeling the movement in your spine, the articulation of your spine. Or maybe you find some sort of other fluid movement. Maybe the hands and wrists need support or the hips or the shoulders. Just journey into whatever the body wants to move into. And then start to tuck your toes. We lift the hips all the way up and back. Find a downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And it might be the first down dog you've done today or in a while. So just start to pedal through the feet, bending one knee and then the other. Let your weight really press towards your feet rather than coming all the way forward into a high plank. And then take your feet as wide as your mat. Walk them ever so slightly further in so your down dog is quite short. Now bend your left knee a lot. Pick up your left hand and just start to wrap your left hand around your right ankle or right calf. Head and heart pour underneath your right arm armpit. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release. Left hand comes to the mat. Take it to the other side, bend your right knee a lot. Right hand comes to the outer edge, outer left ankle or calf. Using the left hand to dial your heart and head underneath the armpit, full breath in. Exhale, release. Pad your hands all the way towards your feet at the back of your mat. And then heel toe your feet just a little bit further in so they're underneath your hips. Big forward fold, take hold of opposite elbows and just start to ragdoll the body side to side. Chin draws towards your chest, full release. And then hands trickle down. Bend through your knees as you slowly peel the body up bone by bone. Find this rise, this ripple. Take a roll out through your shoulders. Soften that. And then as you inhale, press down through your feet. Take your arms wide, reach all the way up overhead. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, we come straight back down, forward fold, snake your way down. 
On an inhale, find a halfway lift. Let your hands either stay on the ground, come to your shins or your thighs, but just really feel this pull in of your belly and length through the heart. And as you exhale, refold. Pad your hands all the way out, coming into a high plank. Draw front body in towards your back dot body. Take a full breath in together. On the exhale, lower your knees down to the ground, untuck your toes, and elbows come in as we come all the way down. My creaky floorboards underneath me. Hands come wider than the mat. Come onto your fingertips. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone. And then start to roll the shoulders as you ripple the heart and rise. Legs stay active. Take a full inhale. Exhale, snake your way down. Take one more like that. Press into the tops of the feet. Inhale to ripple. Exhale, release. Gorgeous, hands come back underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, rise through a tabletop, and then lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Soften your head. On an inhale, rise your right leg, find a three-legged dog, take your time to get there. And as you exhale, round through the spine, step or guide your right foot in between your hands. Lower your left knee down as you untuck your left toes. And then inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. Find an underneath and a lower crescent lunge. As you exhale, drop your pelvis slightly. Right hand comes down to the right as you reach up and over through the left fingertips. Reach towards the right, soften the head. Full breath in here. Exhale, release. Hands come down, frame your right foot. Just start to draw your right hip back. Toes move towards your face. Fold the body in here. Take a breath in, lengthen halfway, and as you exhale, remount. Hands pad back forward, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, ground down your left heel, and then we're just going to spiral open through the arms, come to a warrior two. Soften into your warrior two, let there be an element of ease trickling through the upper body, and then gaze comes over your front middle finger. Can you drop yourself just slightly lower than maybe feels sort of normal for you? Drop your pelvis a little bit more and really feel this activation through the feet. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reach forward through the right hand. And as you exhale, keep the legs where they are. Start to reach your right arm all the way up and overhead. Come to a reverse warrior. Now straighten your right leg here. Keep pressing down through the big toe mound of your right foot. And as you inhale, reach up towards the ceiling or sky. Let the right arm feel like you're sort of being pulled forward here. Reach forward as far as you can. Keep both legs straight. And then right hand comes to your right shin. Tricking us in a triangle pose. Left arm lifts up. And rather than trying to reach for the ground here and letting that be sort of where you're aiming for, Try to reach for the ceiling. Feel this expanse through the body. Dial your heart space up. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, re-bend your right knee. Pivot on the ball of your left foot as you rise and reach to a high lunge. Take a big breath in here. And then exhale, hands come down, frame your right foot. Step your right foot back, high plank. Inhale, find your high plank, just be here. And now on your exhale, either traveling down onto your knees or shifting the weight forward, shoulders past the wrists, we lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, tuck the toes, knees stay off the ground, rise your chest, lengthen. And then exhale, hips travel up and back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, bring your gaze between your hands, and just take a step, jump, or a float to the top of your mat. If you're walking or stepping, take your time. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Belly draws in, heart space lengthens, and exhale, you fold. Press down through the feet, start to sweep your arms all the way up overhead. Find Urdhva Hastasana, palms meet above your head. As you exhale, draw your hands down through your heart. Reconnect here, thumbs come to the heart space, close your eyes for a moment. Draw up through your pelvic floor and just really feel the presence of your body after a little bit of movement. Maybe your heart's beating a little more after that. Take another breath in. Full breath out. And as you inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, we fold forward, come all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Soften, float down. Inhale is your halfway lift. Again, hands can be wherever feels supportive for you. Exhale, refold. 
hands plant, step yourself back into a higher plank. Either down to the knees or chaturanga, your choice. Exhale to lower. Inhale, we rise, up dog or cobra. Heart lifts. Smile through the face. Next is long. Exhale, take the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, we start to lift the left leg. Three-legged dog, carve through space here. And on your exhale, rounding through, step or guide left foot in between your hands. Lower your right knee, untuck your right toes. Inhale, we sweep the arms up overhead, rise this. And then as you exhale, just drop your pelvis a little heavier. Left hand comes down to the left. Right arm carves up and over. Feel this beautiful line through the right side of the body, right hip flexor. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Hands come down, frame your left foot. Start to draw your left hip back, or both hips back, as you flex your left foot towards your face. Take a breath in, feel your heart space lift. And as you exhale, fold back in, just pour over yourself here. Repad into the left foot. Hands come down, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Ground down your right heel. And again, we inhale, spiral open through the arms, bring the other arms open, come to warrior two. Shoulders soften, maybe flutter through the fingertips. As you inhale, flip your front palm, reach forward. On your exhale, keep the legs where they are. Take it to your reverse warrior. Right hand glides down the right leg. Inhale, start to straighten your left leg. Keep this pressing into the feet and then reach as far up towards the ceiling or sky as you can. As you start to send your hips back, reach your left arm forward, full breath in. Exhale, we come to trick on us in a triangle pose. Left hand comes down, left shin as you reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Tailbone is tucking in. So rather than kind of sticking everything out, feel like, or imagine you're in a toaster and you don't want anything to burn. No burnt bums or chests. So really feel this spiral up to rise you. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, re-bend your left knee. Hands come down to the ground. Come onto the ball of your right foot. And this is it. Rise up high lunge. <laughs> Just kidding everyone. Full breath in. And then as you exhale, hands come down. Step your left foot back, downward facing dog. And then bend your knees, bring your gaze between your hands. Take a step, jump or float. And meet your hands at the top of your mat to find a seat. If you just step through that, that is so fine. So we land seated. Let your right leg just start to come over your left thigh. Coming into a lovely spinal twist here. Inhale, reach both arms up overhead. And as you exhale, start to turn towards the right. Before you place your arms down, just really use the strength of your own spine to twist you here. Take an inhale, feel this length up. And now as you exhale, right hand comes down, left elbow to the outer edge of your right thigh. Encourage this twist round. Soften your shoulder. You might feel inclined to turn the head and let that do all the work, but really let this come from the spine. Belly, ribs, and then chest, and then head. Head always follows, right? Take one more inhale. On your exhale, release this. Take a counter twist round towards the left. And then come back up through center. Now stay with me for this. We're gonna come up onto the feet. Lift your hips. Now turning to the left, 360 degrees. Leave your feet on the ground, the balls of your feet on the ground. Just let them pivot round as you come all the way around and the left leg should be over your right. If that didn't happen for you, don't worry. <laughs> and then we'll take this the other side. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Feel the space in your spine as you exhale, twist to the left. Use the arm strength, use the spine strength, strength rather. Take another breath in. And then exhale, left hand comes down behind you, right elbow, left thigh. Breath in to find this reach and length up. And as you exhale, just journey in. Let your breath smooth you out. Just receive this in your body. One more inhale. And as you exhale, counter twist around towards the right. Oh yeah. Unravel your legs. If you haven't got much space behind you, just shimmy slightly further forward and then roll down so you come onto your back. 
Draw your feet a little closer in towards you, just so you can tickle the back of your heels. Feet stay hip width distance apart. As you inhale, start to press down through the feet. Tuck your tailbone, let the inner thighs wrap in and roll up through the spine, coming into a bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath you, interlace your hands, and then really feel like you could lengthen your lower back by tucking your tailbone and squeezing up through your inner thighs a little more. Soften your head and feel that length through your neck. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, unravel, release the shoulders, the hands, slowly roll down through the spine. Land the pelvis. And just pause there for a moment, just receiving, receiving yourself on your back for the first time in this practice, letting the earth hold you. And then snuggle your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, take a little rock side to side, self-massage. Really feel like you can nurture yourself in a hug here. And then start to extend the legs out long. If you've got time to breathe and stay in a Shavasana for a long time, then pause the video and really just enjoy this, receive it, feel it in the body. If you feel excited to move into anything else, then you can do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna get up. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll close our practice here, back into Kasana where we started. Hands together in prayer, Anjali Mudra. Finding a slight roll of the shoulders, a lift of heart, two thumbs, closing the eyes. And just really feeling this gratitude for ourselves, for showing up, for making this time, for carving out this time for ourselves. Take a really big inhale through the nose. And a big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Bowing your head to your hands. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me. Quite a, quite a quick little fiery flow. Um, great to do at any time, really. Come back to this whenever you need. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye.